Hi, I'm Virginia. I'm Kevin, and this is our story. I've shared part of my story with you all, and Kevin is here because when I went to college, we met and we fell in love, and so he's gonna give you a little bit of his background, and we're gonna talk about our story. I came to Christ uh, as a middle schooler. I had been invited to a vacation Bible school uh, that uh, my cousins had gone to. Um, I had grown up in a, a church going home. Um, my parents took me and, and my siblings uh, to church every Sunday. It was the church my mom went to that uh, her parents went to, so my grandparents were there also. And so I had heard a lot about Jesus there, uh, but I came to Christ at, uh, at this uh, vacation Bible school. And uh, I went, returned back to my church and continued to, to learn and hear about Christ. Um, I, I couldn't say that I was miraculously changed. Um, I had grown up in a very interesting situation. Um, I had been born with a medical condition uh, that two of my siblings had also uh, been born with. And one of them I never met. Um, he died in infancy uh, as, because of it. And another one, um, he passed away uh, when I was uh, a preschooler, uh, just entering elementary school, and also because of the same condition. Um, so I had some fear in my life. And I don't think that fear went away immediately. Um, but as I continued to learn and grow in Christ, um, I remember one day that uh, I was uh, sitting on my bed uh, reading the Bible, and this was some years later. And um, I was reading a passage, and I don't know exactly what that passage was, but I remember that I just, I had my head down and I stopped and I looked up and I realized, oh yeah, that fear, that fear is gone. So it was, it was a learning experience, but it was something that the Holy Spirit had worked through me uh, to take that fear away. When we met and fell in love, I immediately wanted to pray for you to be healed. And I did that. I prayed um, that God would heal him. And I, I prayed all the time. And I was, I was begging God, basically. And I remember um, one time when I was asking God to heal Kevin, um, the Lord said to me, if it weren't for me, he'd already be dead. And I was like, oh, that's right, you are in control of our lives. And from that point forward, it was just a matter of trusting God um, with him and with his life and uh, not praying out of fear anymore. You know, during the time that uh, the fear uh, had been taken from me, there were a lot of advancements in treatment uh, that were taking place. And, um, and I remember uh, one time uh, going to the the doctor, I, I saw doctors typically about every month uh, growing up, um, just as part of the routine care. And um, I had just recently started a new treatment, which was supposed to be real good, and it was working very well. Um, I was there at the doctor with my mom, and the doctor was saying how pleased she was uh, that, how, that I was doing so well on the new, new medication. and. Um, and she said something that she intended to be very positive, very optimistic. She said to my mother, she said, unless he steps in front of a bus, I don't see why he wouldn't live a relatively normal, relatively healthy life of 75 years. What she didn't realize is that in my family, uh, I, I come from a family of people who live a very long time, other than people with the condition I have. So to my mother, she did not interpret that to be as optimistic as the doctor intended. And I remember my mother's countenance just immediately dropped and she got a little red in the face and she just said very quietly, very sternly, well, we're expecting more than that. I think back about how, uh, how my parents really persevered and that was a lesson that I really learned from them uh, throughout that, is uh, they had to do something that I would not wish upon anyone. They had to bury two of their children uh, and had to, to go through the uncertainty of raising another one and just not knowing you know, what could happen. 
And that lesson of perseverance uh, that I saw as an example uh, from them uh, reminds me of a verse. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand, and we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. So I was just reminded of that, uh, uh, of the perseverance that uh, I had the example of uh, and the hope uh, that was expressed in that situation. Mm -hmm.